Before I get out of this shit, because I spent too much time here, I just want to address the stupid shit that, the stupid shit that came from their senior level executive staff as a response, as damage control to the stuff I was saying about, yo, yo, we made him a considerably larger offer than what he's making. And some of y'all ate that up because y'all just believe in the white people. These white people, not regular white people. Don't try to give me for hate speech, bitch. And, and first of all, <laughs> either way, offered him a larger uh, agreement or money. So? <laughs> so? Yeah. Was it right? So? <laughs> Rory, Rory's right on so. Right. So, is, so. So is point number one. Point number two is, yes, you offered a lot more, but you also asked for a lot more. <laughs> Big facts. You asked for a lot more. So a this lot is, more? No, you asked for everything. everything. <laughs> you asked for everything. And some of these you stupid asked for people. our existence. Some of these stupid people are rolling with that. But, I mean, let me explain it for the stupid people out there, for the B-Mic uh, lady that wants to fucking talk to me about something. I don't know who you're even talking about. It doesn't matter because okay. she's not important because our mission is great. Got you. Okay. Our mission is great and our mission includes her. The person I'm talking about is a B-Mic and I don't even know if that podcast is still running. Got you. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Cook. But everybody out there, Charlemagne included, and every time Charlemagne say something stupid, all the old loudspeaker network pop up people and pop up. Not all of them, but some of them pop up and say something stupid. Nigga, my fight is for Combat Jack. He be rolling around his grave. Rest in peace. That's my guy. We know what he'd be doing down here. And everything Combat fought for was his network. Oh, uh, Yeah. Yeah, to the people that don't know how to read through the bullshit that white people say to make you judge your brother in a really horrible, nasty way, which would be me. Um, yeah, they sent more money and they asked for a lot more shit, right? Mm -hmm. And in that same response, because people just say the stupid shit and don't even know what they're saying, important to get information with, uh, when they don't know they're giving it, is that they expect you, oh, uh, pardon me, is that they expect you two years later to accept the market price of what was happening two years ago. <laughs> no, thanks. It was two years ago. Right. Hey, anybody out there? Nobody is, man. Everybody feels great. It worked. Who you were two years ago is not who you're supposed to be today. All we ever kept saying was, fam, it's a new day. Mm -hmm. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. And podcasting moves in hip hop years. Two years in hip hop and in podcasting is ten years to the regular world. That's how quick this shit is changing and moving. Yeah, that two years was significant. Yes, yes, Charlemagne. After two years or toward the end of a contract, Joe tells people what's going on. <laughs> Use that to paint me how you want. But the fight is large. And this is a very rare moment when the window is open. There's like a black renaissance happening. Hmm. And Corey was talking earlier, what, what did he say? Fucking up. Uh, today you've never seen, you've never seen as many black men cry publicly as you're seeing today. <laughs> hmm. Turn on the TV. Look out the window. Read the fucking room. <laughs> it's not time for me to step on Gilly's bum ass. It's not time for me to step on anybody else. It's, that's, not, that's not where I'm at. Leave us alone while we change the game again. Please. If you're programmed and conditioned, you might think that... Sorry, whoa. I didn't mean that one. If you're programmed and conditioned, you might think that two years after you signed some shit and watched everything change right before your eyes that you should be negotiating now based off two years ago. That's the same stupid shit these white people kept saying. And I kept saying, nah, 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 nah. The end. Everybody happy. I got my Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> Rory got his mic cores. <laughs> Maul got the Rolex with the bezzy. <laughs> Parks got the new... Uh, come on, man. We got Apple Watches. <laughs> we don't need any of these things is what I'm saying. Along your journey, you can get there without all of this shit that you think. That you, that you think. Yeah. That you think you need. You just don't. 
pay attention to the market. And when it grows, your value does too. That is the end of Joe's. I've been saying that a million times, but that's really the end. Now, I hope I was able to help some of you idiots out there. Yeah. Or some of the people ignorant, naive, inexperienced, yeah. or just don't know. I'm not here to offend anybody. I'm not. We all kings, queens, gods, and goddesses. That's where we are today. And hopefully you're able to learn something here. Joe did that. Come on, this is a rap finisher, yo. So hopefully. Thank you. We won't have to go through that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I get you. it. Joe Sonnenfeld, man. <laughs> <laughs>